The World Bank has revised its grant agreement with Ghana on the subsidized household toilet facilities. Under the agreement, the World Bank shares the cost of a toilet facility with the household equally. Winifred Film reports that households now need 1,100 Ghana cities to own a complete facility as against the initial 2,000 cities. Mr. Abraham Nikwe, a resident of Medina in the Greater Accra region, has benefited from the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Gamma Sanitation and Water Project. Under the agreement, the World Bank pays half of the cost of a toilet facility, whilst the user takes up the other half. Before then, Mr. Nikwe and his household had to rely on a public toilet in the Medina market, meant for traders and those in transit. I used to have difficulty walking to the public toilet each day. I am relieved now because I now have a toilet in my home. The Gamma project was launched in 2016 with an initial estimation to build over 19,000 household toilets. This strategy was aimed at helping to end opinification, which continues to be a big challenge for the country. So far, about 2,190 facilities have been built in homes across the greater Accra region. When the project was launched in 2016, interested households had to pay 2,000 Ghana cities as half of the price for the toilets. For now, a household can own a complete toilet by paying 1,100 Ghana cities. At the launch of the Gamma project in the La Mkwantanan Medina Municipal Assembly in Accra, the Municipal Environmental Health Officer at the La Mkwantanan Medina Municipal Assembly, Mr. Joseph Kwaku, said what is needed is a little space for the facility. The toilet we have here are affordable toilets. These are biological toilets. So the issue of uh, I have no space to construct toilet is neither here nor there. In the indigenous communities, where the spaces are small, you can set up a toilet of this nature and then it can be constructed there uh, without any uh, problem. The municipal chief executive of the Lankantanan Medina Municipal Assembly, Madame Jennifer Dede Afagbedi, said there are flexible payment plans for individuals who are interested in the offer. The assembly is taking that upon itself to give people a payment plan so that if you want to pay for a period of one month, you can do so. Please come and register. That is important for us. When you come to register, we will work out a payment plan for you. If you have to pay within a month, within a period of two months, maximum three months, you should be able to finish paying. The subsidized toilet facility grant is expected to end by June 2018. The World Bank has pumped in over $400 million to support the project. If by June 2018 the money has not been exhausted, the government of Ghana is expected to return the rest of the grant to the World Bank. For GBC 24, Winifred.